Why hello there, ghost ghouls and eldritch horrors whose pronouns are completely impronounceable. Halloween is almost upon us, so let's get making some decorations. These are going to be quick, easy, and stuff you can do over the next couple of days because we're currently close. Unless you're watching this in the future, in which case you might have plenty of time. I don't know. I'm not your mum. Project number one. Terrifying table lights. So the basis of these table lights is going to be this little jar. Something that you might find jamming or any kind of preserves. And we're going to fill that with cotton wool. Well, I say fill. We're also going to put in something other than cotton wool. In this case, some spooky spiders. One thing we want to make sure of is that once we've put all the uh, cotton wool in and the spiders or whatever else you use you want to put in the outside, make a little hole in the middle of it and the middle of the cotton wool. What we're going to do is take some LEDs. If you don't have any LEDs, you can salvage them from old electronics. If you've got a channel changer that had a little light up LED when you press the on off button, you can always take that out. Or, and what you need to do is place these LEDs on a button battery, which you can get at any store. Now, depending on the LEDs you've got, you might have them bright enough already. If not, then put on some more LEDs around the outside. As long as you're not linking them up in series, you can just stick more and more on and they'll light up. If you put one on and it doesn't light up, that's probably because you've got it the wrong way around. See, one of these legs is positive and one's negative. So you just turn it around and it will light up. And then once you're done, you place it inside the cotton ball. And there we have it. Some spooky light up Halloween lights. Easy to film with a bigger light on. So we've got spiders in this one and if you're having a more of an adult party you might want something in there that's a little bit scarier than spiders. So uh, what could be scarier than human caused climate change? I wouldn't recommend that around children. Project 2 Halloween Bunting the next craft is an oldie but a goodie and all you need is a piece of coloured card, potentially a pencil and a pair of scissors. And this is one that you can get kids involved in as well. We're all familiar with the Christmas time, we have the, uh, the decoration where we fold a piece of paper in half, once the tea in it, cut a snowflake on and then unfold and you have all the uh, snowflakes. Well, why does that have to be only at Christmas? principles of these are simple and perhaps too obvious to even recount. All you have to do is fold a piece of paper up as many times as you need to and cut on the shape that you want, making sure that the edges where the folds are are right at the edge of your design so that they all link up when you unfold it. And of course, as long as you leave a tab on the end of each of your little creations, then you can always attach another piece to the end and another piece and then you need to mix and match you don't get one long stream so here we've got pumpkins and for this one we've got something a little bit more adult we've got student loan repayments and crippling debt as well as renting forever project three drinkable magic potions so for our next craft what we'll need is some glass vials of some description or plastic just something that can hold water now you can put something else over the water in there any liquid will do i normally put squash in there but for filming i've just used water you'll also need some sort of luster dust a pearlescent one works best and i recommend having a teaspoon with you so you can measure it out and also if you want to have creepy colors you may wish to uh, purchase some liquid food dye just to colour things up and then we can make some spooky magic potions from the witchy shelf. Let me show you how. Begin with your glass of water or more adult beverage and then add in some liquid food dye. You may need to give it a bit of a stir around to make sure it's all mixed in and then add in just a small amount of the pearlescent luster dust and give that a mix and what you'll get is a reflective liquid so you'll end up looking like a magic potion. Very wondrous. And then we have it, some spooky witchy's potions, or fanciful ones if it's not Halloween when you make them. And like I said, you can put any old liquid in here. Could be water, could be squash, could be vodka if it's a more adult party. But uh, whatever you put in looks magical. Ah, yeah. 
Rather needed that after the day she's just had. Oh. The unspeakable horror. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, no variation seropine. This isn't something I've made because I wouldn't have the stomach to make it. It's something I've brought. And it is so horrifying, so evil and sickening. I'm not entirely certain I can show this on YouTube. But I'm going to risk my channel and show you something. I don't recommend this for children's parties. This is something only the strongest will of adults can deal with. And if you're of a nervous disposition, or you're pregnant, I suggest you stop watching now. Here we go. Last chance if you want to turn away. That's right. A life-size Margaret Thatcher. Ugh. What's that? There's no such thing as society, only the individual and his family? But first, you're, you're a woman, what do you say then? Anyway, all jokes aside, if you have fun making these crafts, do let me know. And if you make any of them, send me your creepy pictures of the things. And if the, your kids can have fun making them, so much the better. As you see, aren't they? For children, mostly. Mostly. Some of us are children at heart. Anyway, I'll see you next week with a non-Halloween themed crafting video.